Hi, welcome to my craft room. We are going to be recycling old dryer sheets. I have folded this in half and I'm going to be putting that on the circles, number two original die. I found that to be the easiest for cutting this out. If you work with a punch, it wants to catch. It doesn't work that well. With this die, though, you're going to really see just how simple it is. You can also freehand that and cut it out by hand as well. But this is just like cutting butter. It just falls right out. By folding it over, you're getting eight circles. And these circles measure one, one and a half, two, and two and a half inches. This is a little spritz bottle, and I am putting 12 drops of the Daffodil Delight re in there. Stampin' Up! has now come out with little spritz bottles. Um, it's new to our line. You get two for $2.95, and that's a good deal because I paid that much for, for this years and years and years ago. So that's a real good deal, and that's something you will be using over and over and over again. So it's a worthwhile investment. Put your circles onto a Teflon sheet, and I was very generous with my misting. Um, that's strictly up to you, but I wanted a real depth of color. I wanted it to be nice and bright, um, so I'm now working that into the moisture on that Teflon sheet and then transferring it over to a couple of sheets of paper towel to absorb some of that. And once you get that all finished going over that, then you're going to get your heat tool and you will be drying these. You want to have something to hold that down. I'm using my paper piercing tool. If you've ever worked with organdy before, organdy ribbon, that's kind of what this dryer sheet is like working with. Um, once this heat tool really gets heated up, it can cause holes to form in these dryer sheets or it can de deform them. And that's what I'm going to show you right now. I had... I had one that um, really got deformed. It also can cause them to shrivel up a little bit. So be careful. This is just a utility bottle that I picked up at a dollar store. And I'm going to use the Shimmer Paint. And this is the Champagne Mist. It comes in three different colors. They're all really, really beautiful. It adds such beautiful shimmer to cardstock as well as anything that you're working with. With this there is a ball inside that little jar and you want to shake it really really well before working with it. And I found that working with uh, rubbing alcohol is the best to use as far as it drying quickly. Shake that really really well. Now because you can see that this yellow is pretty uniform I wanted it to be more variegated looking so I'm going back in and I'm just straight from the bottle. I'm dropping the re inker onto the dryer sheet. Always, always, always shake that um, paint before using it because you'll notice that it settles into the bottom. These are really wet, probably wetter than I needed to get them. But you're going to be drying those once again. But can you see the color that is added to that in that beautiful? Hold that down and go over it again and hold your dryer up a little bit from there so you don't have any danger of causing that to make holes in it. I want to show you how beautiful that shimmer is on there. Isn't that gorgeous? Wow, would you have thought that it would be that noticeable? Isn't that beautiful? Now, at this point, you could stack these up putting um, your sizes uniformly and make a lolly out of that. And I've tried a couple of different things to connect those. I tried using the glue dots. I tried using the all-purpose glue, and I found that it didn't stick real well. So you'd probably need to use a heat gun to connect that or to use Fabri-Tac. But what I'm going to end up using is a brad. But if you wanted to work with the button, you could do that. I want to show just a little bit different idea because I think making the lolly is something that you might think of, but I want to just show you how to make petals onto these circles. So I'm snipping this 
curving that in and I'm going to do this in thirds. So I folded it in half, then I turned it slightly and folded it again and repeated that. So now I have six little snips on there. Isn't that pretty? And I'll repeat that for each one of the flowers. And I also found it easier if I went from my cut edge in, so I just flipped that over and very, very easy to do, but it was more uniform than trying to cut it from the inside out. And just keep repeating that till you have them all done. Isn't it wonderful when you can make something out of a trash item that you would just normally throw in the trash? Okay, this is our Dazzling Details. And Dazzling Details is a glitter adhesive. has a real narrow tip to it so that you have precision in working with this. Um, because these dryer sheets are quite delicate, I recommend that you go light-handed in squeezing this out. It doesn't take a lot, and you'll see at the very end just how beautiful it is, how it really, really shines. Now, alternate these. Turn them ever so slightly as you put those together. And I simply took my scissors tip and just pressed in, and then I continued on and put the others together and then repeated that once again to make my hole for my brads. Okay, and look at these brads. These are the 3 8 inch designer printed brads and I chose to go with the Island Indigo which I thought looked so pretty with this Daffodil Delight. Now what we need to do is make a card with this. Isn't that beautiful? I look forward to your comments. Thank you so much.